the AGM-88C Harm High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile This is our first true Western SEAD weapon It'll reach out and hit targets at a maximum of 80 nautical miles We'll go over its operation, limitations and ranges Its purpose is the suppression of enemy air defences or in other words, blowing up hostile radars or at the very least, forcing them to switch them off the missile homes in on radar emissions from land or sea-based radar systems. Its operation is fairly simple in its current implementation. Unfortunately, we are limited to a very bare-bones mode, that being SP, or self-protection mode, with more advanced modes coming later. So, let's get set up. Master arm on, air to ground mode, select your harm from the stores page, and for reference, you may wish to bring up the EW page to show your radar warning receiver or you can reference your HUD RWR repeater or you could reference the RWR gauge The harm display page lists the available modes on the left your selected station and the step button to cycle your selected station Pressing the reset button will automatically target your highest threat radar as detected by the system at present, this page has very limited information, but it will be expanded to show more in the future. All you have to do is point your nose roughly towards the radar icon from your radar warning receiver set. Note that the radar warning receiver updates positions slowly and has blind spots above and below the aircraft, so try and make turns directly towards your threat, and then allow a second or two for the RWR to update their locations. You can cycle which threat to launch on by pressing the RAID slash FLIR FOV SELECT button found on your throttle or the I key on your keyboard. The selected threat is shown boxed on both your EW page, RWR and HUD. Ship radar systems are also indicated with an underline beneath their designation, whilst ground based ones show a house icon. Once you're happy with your selection, Make sure your nose is pointed roughly towards it and press the pickle button to fire your harm. The radio brevity for an anti-radiation missile launch is Magnum. The harm is a fire and forget weapon homing in on the target independently, allowing you to break off and take defensive measures more or less immediately. It's worth noting that the selected radar emitter will automatically cycle to the next threat after each launch, so if you want to fire a salvo against a single target, you'll have to check you're still locking the correct one between shots. If your RWR is cluttered with lots of contacts overlapping, it can be very difficult to select a specific target or even tell what they are. You can push the RWR offset push button found behind your stick. You'll then see that all contacts are spread out across your display. Be warned, it is no longer providing directional information, instead they're offset to make it easier to read, making it possible to select a specific target. Just remember to cycle the offset mode off once you're done. So, nice and easy, right? Well, there's a few limitations. First, we have no friend or foe information, so make sure you know who you're shooting at. Second, we have no range information. This can be worked around if you have a waypoint in the approximate area of the target. You can then use this as reference on your HUD for your launch range. Third, the missiles are not perfectly accurate and they will sometimes miss their target even when you think you've gotten a good shot. Finally, and most severely, the self-protection mode is limited to contacts you can currently actively detect. That means if you're attacking a large SAM site such as the SA-10, you'll be able to detect and fire at it from maximum range. But say you are attacking a small SAM site such as an SA-8, you'll have to wait until you're within 10 to 15 miles where you can detect it before you can fire your harm. The pre-briefed mode is coming later in development and will allow you to fire your harms from maximum range at preset waypoints without the need to detect the threat beforehand. The harm will fire towards this point and then start searching for the pre-selected radar type. This will unleash the harm's true potential, but until then we've got to deal with the limitations. To make the most effective use of harms, you should make sure to bring a few extra to account for both the accuracy, but also for the self-defense systems of SAMs. 
in some cases you will simply have to oversaturate the SAM's ability to shoot down your own missiles in order to score a hit. It's also worth noting that whilst harms are effective against small warships, larger warships will simply shrug off the impact without suffering any significant damage. So with all that in mind, what kind of ranges can we expect? Well, this took some testing, and I found you can reach the following approximate ranges. As you can clearly see, the higher your altitude, the significantly greater range you can expect from your missile, whilst firing from low level will leave you with a mere 15 nautical miles range. Although flying at high altitude gives you the best range, it also exposes you to other threats such as search radars and hostile aircraft who will try to intercept you, so you will have to find the best balance between the two for your specific situation. The harm is capable of striking even the largest SAM sites without entering their engagement range when employed correctly, however it still cannot live up to its full potential until we see the new modes added. I'll be sure to cover them as they're implemented. Happy hunting, and take care.